Hey, what's up guys? Tommy here back again with another insane DIY e-bike video. So one summer night, I was sitting in my room brainstorming fun and creative ways to possibly put myself in the hospital, like normal people do, of course. Should I buy a new motorcycle? Should I shove a motor and wheels on a suitcase and make it go? These were the questions that were going through my head that fateful night, when suddenly I got the bright idea. What if I took the cheapest mountain bike I could buy, modify it with a powerful electric motor, and claim the title of YouTube's fastest Walmart bike? Well, that's exactly what I did in this video. And you're gonna wanna stick around to see the results for yourself because this experiment was crazy. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to go ahead, hit that like button, leave a nice comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe so you can help me reach my goal of 1 million subscribers. Guys, we are so close, so just hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. So for the first thing we needed to do, we needed to find our mountain bike. For this project, our bike was required to have disc brakes, a triangle shaped frame, and 26 inch wheels. And the goal was to spend as little money as possible attaining it. After searching online for hours, trying to find the right mountain bike for this build, seeing bike after bike that was just not it for me, I suddenly figured out a genius way to get one for free, leaving me wondering why I hadn't tried this life hack before. Here's our guy, here's our guy, look. All right, pulling in, guys. All right, let's get out. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You're looking a little down. Ah! Oh. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Ah, oh, good sad. Terrible. I, I bet my car on black. I, I had this gambling addiction. My wife left me. Just, oh, just been having a terrible week, man. Oh man. Well, we're actually with the YouTube channel, as you can see on my camera oh, right really? here, and, and we like to help people out who are in need. What's your uh, channel called? It's uh, Mr. Beast. Oh, I've heard of you. Yeah. So, anyways, we actually have a prize for you. But first, you have to pick a number between one and ten. Oh, I. I don't want to be too greedy. I think I'll just I'll just choose seven. Seven, guys. Seven seconds of getting your ass beat. Ah! Oh, all right, let's go get the bike. Well, all right, all right, I did not actually steal this bike from a muscular homeless man, but I was lucky enough to snag this bike for $100 from a guy on Craigslist. And luckily for us, it has everything we need, which includes disc brakes, a triangular opening in the middle of the frame, and 26 inch wheels. For our electronics, we have this massive hub motor, this 72 volt 20 amp hour battery, and this 80 amp controller. And the crazy thing is that all of these electronics will give this bike a power of 6,000 watts while keeping it under 80 pounds. Before we can add our powerful hub motor to this bike, we first have to add the brake rotor so we can actually stop this thing. After removing the back wheel and the chain from this bike, it's time to add our motor. Luckily for us, our bike has the required 135mm dropout distance between the rear axle, so this motor slides right in. In order to ensure that this motor does not slide out while we're riding, we use the required mounting hardware which came with our motor to mount this motor to our frame. After mounting our motor, it's time to take our motor cable and secure it to our frame. Zip ties will do the trick, and I actually prefer them because if you need to go back and take off your motor, they're really easy to cut off. After that, it's time to install the 72 volt 20 amp hour battery into our bike. This is actually one of the most tedious parts of this little build, because strapping in this battery took me 20 minutes and it was very tedious. These straps are not very good. Now just in case you're wondering where I got all of the parts for this build, I'll make sure to have them linked down in the description below so that you can buy them whenever you want. And again, if you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as it puts a smile on my face and makes me want to do more great videos like this. 
After strapping on our battery, it was time to mount our controller to the bike. The controller actually came with a nice little bag which made it really easy to just strap it to the top of the frame. Next, I mounted our handlebars with our throttle and our LCD screen. But before we could do that, I had to take off the brake handles and cut off these old grips as they were quite worn. And before you know it, we're actually very close to getting this bike running. All we need to do is connect the electronics. We first start with this little wire connection board, which we use to connect the wires from the controller to the battery and motor. And we make sure to tighten these connections well, as you don't want them coming apart while you're riding because that may spell disaster. After doing that, we make sure our throttle's plugged into our controller as well as our LCD screen, and then finally, we connect the battery to the system. With all that being done, our bike turns right on with the press of a button. So now, for the fun part, we have to figure out how we're going to get all these wires tucked away, because there's really not too many places to hide them, uh, so this might take a little bit. And now finally our bike is complete and it's time to take this thing outside and let everybody else know who has the fastest e-bike on the block. Oh!